The final spreadsheet task to B, you're being asked to create a bar chart showing the total cost of each item for the Hoyt Cayley. So where we have to go for this is we have to highlight all the items, so from mozzarella dips down to band members wages. And then we have to go over to column D to get the total cost. And the way to highlight both columns at the same time is we have to use the control key. So press down on the control key, keep your finger on it, and then highlight all the costs associated with these various items. Next thing we do is go up to insert, and then we're going to choose charts. And the best way I think to do it is to click on recommended charts because that way Excel will recommend what it thinks is best for the data that you have. So clicking on recommended charts and I can see it's come up with number one a clustered bar chart. That looks fine. And if we click on the next one it's got a clustered column chart. I personally like the clustered column chart better. Although the question asks for a bar chart, either the clustered bar or clustered column would be acceptable. So let's select clustered column and click OK. Now the graph has appeared, it looks pretty good, not too much to do to it, but I do notice that the title of the chart is just called chart title. And for somebody reading that, that doesn't really make much sense. So let's change the tar chart title by clicking on it, highlighting it, over typing it, and we can just call this Hoik Costs. And the other thing that we could do is we could actually label the horizontal axis with item and the vertical axis with total cost. So where we go for that is up to left hand side here, add chart element, axis titles, you'll see here we've got the horizontal along the bottom and vertical down the side. Starting with horizontal, click on it once, when you do that a new box appears, axis title, again over type it, we're just going to call that item, it's matching the field we've called it, and then back to add chart element, axis title, this time select vertical, and then what we can do is change that to total cost. So for the person looking at that, it really does make sense as to what they're looking at. Alright, so the next thing that we need to do is to print a copy on a separate sheet. At the moment you'll see that it is an object in the Hoyt cost statement, which is great by the way if you need to insert it into a Word document or a PowerPoint, you can move this around very easily and you can actually resize it uh, also. But we want to put it onto a separate sheet. So where we have to go, we're still in chart design, go to the far right hand corner, move chart, click on it, you'll see there we are an object in, that's fine, but to change it, new sheet, click on OK, you'll see down here a new sheet has been created, it's called chart 3 which you could rename if you wanted to, and if you were to print this off it would come off on a full piece of paper. If for some reason you decided you didn't want it as a full sheet, you could just go back, move chart and put it back into object in. So that is how you do task 2B.